Hello everyone, welcome to Joe's Kitchen Capers. So happy for you to join me today. If you're live, I'm using a new platform today. I'm just going to see if we can. Not sure how I can see. Oh, I can see the comments. There you go. So if you're live with me, drop a comment in the chat box. I think if you haven't used Ecamm before, you can attach your um, avatar. But anyway, if I can't see who is online with me, just tap your name and, and say hi. So what we're doing today are these wonderful Warrigal Green and Zucchini Fritters. I'm hoping my lighting is good. It's a weird day in Melbourne. We've had crazy weather, if you've seen the news. Hot one minute, storms the next minute, trees down. Um, just hope everyone is safe and just be careful on the roads because I know there's a lot of debris lying around. Um, so, getting back to our Warrigal Greens, we are going to be making these fritters. I've got a couple of things to make with you. I've prepared all my ingredients, so I just want to share with you this recipe. You'll have the recipe in the comments below. Let me know if... Um, when, if and when you try it. And by the way, happy Valentine's Day because this is going to be our Valentine's Day dinner. Do not tell Simon because it's meant to be a surprise, but he's probably going to watch this and know. So what we've got, four cups of grated zucchini. I've got some blanched, a cup of blanched and chopped warrigal greens. The reason I blanch this is it's just easier on the body to digest. Uh, you can replace this with spinach or silver beet if you want. Um, I've just got, I don't know if you saw my post, the Warrigal Greens are taking over my garden, so I need to use them and everything. So I blanched that and I, all I did was washed all my Warrigal Greens, put them in a big bowl and then poured boiling water over them. And I still... The chef in me still refreshes everything, which means I then put it into an ice bath, and that just helps retain that lovely green colour. Otherwise, it can go a bit brown, look a bit bruised. Um, we have got three quarters of a cup of hemp seeds, my new favourite seed. We've got quarter of a cup of chia. Just use black, white, whatever you've got, doesn't really make a difference. I've got a half a cup of grated parmesan. We're going to have salt and pepper. I'm using dill today because our finished dish is going to have smoked trout on. And Thomas, if you're watching, since you mentioned that car, was it you with the carbonara? No, it wasn't carbonara. It was something with asparagus and smoked trout, and I've wanted trout ever since. So hence, our Valentine's meal is included smoked trout today. So we're going to make these fritters and then we're going to top them. I've got a really cool hemp cream cheese to make that we're going to top them with. Gluten-free, everything's gluten-free, not dairy-free today, not vegan, but it is vegetarian. So let's get cracking. Somebody's online with me. Who is it? Can you type me a comment and let me know who's watching? Now, what I'm going to do, when you're using zucchini or greens or anything in a fritter make sure you squeeze all that excess liquid out because there is a lot in there um i am going to use my nut milk bag but you could easily use i've got one here like a chucks cloth put all your greens in there and then strain it You'd, otherwise you're going to end up with too much moisture in the fritters and they're just going to be soggy and not very nice so I'm just going to, I have got very clean hands, never fear. I'm just going to pop this into my bag and I'll do it in a couple of batches just so you might be able to see on screen there any liquid coming out. These aren't too bad. You find the bigger these zucchinis get, um, the more liquid they will have in them. You know, when it gets to that marrow stage, there's a lot of moisture in there. So let's put the rest of our zucchini in. I've just dropped that strained 
lot into the big bowl because we're just going to mix it all in the bowl today. It's a very simple recipe to put together. Let's squeeze the rest of this out. There's a little bit. Can you see that coming out? A little bit. Oh, coming out. I need to work on the squeezing techniques, I think. Okay. That can go in. And don't worry, the green comes out of the nut milk bag. That's nothing to worry about. I'm now going to add those Warrigal greens in. And oh, that's, look at that. That's got a lot more, lot more liquid in it. So we're popping that in. Let me just wash my hands. Now I'm using dill today in this recipe, but you can use whatever fresh herbs you like. You could even put dried herbs in if you wish. Um, I like to look at what the end dish is. I'm looking at the microphone. I like to look at what the end dish is going to be in that we're using trout today. I want to use the trout, uh, the dill, because that pairs really well with the trout. So we've got this in there. Can mix it all around and we're just simply adding these ingredients the hemp seeds go in simple 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 our chia our parmesan our dill I'm saving a little bit of this for the um, I think I've got a quarter of a cup on there of dill I'm saving some of that for our cream cheese and our eggs I'm just going to whisk with a fork pop a little bit of salt and pepper in it some lovely cracked freshly cracked black pepper that parmesan that I popped in it's not packet parmesan it is being freshly grated this morning um, very easy to do about a half a teaspoon of himalayan salt we can just whisk these up let me know if you're online or drop a comment in the box below how the light lighting and sound is if you can because we have had with this weather we've had power outages i tested it as much as i could but you just never know in the world of technology I'm just going to swap that out for a wooden spoon and the parmesan that I've used is not the you know I, there's certain things that I can't eat here are all out ingredients in there together certain things that I can't eat and the parmesan I find there are certain parmesans I can't have. There's a lot of cheeses I can't have. But when I get the younger parmesan, I think that was only aged for six, 12 to 16 months, I find that um, that's fine with me. Okay, so we're just going to mix this in well. Our eggs are going straight in. And you'll notice that we've got no, there's no flour or anything in this. So it's the chia that's going to bind it. So we're actually going to rest this. You want to rest it for 20 to 30 minutes. And I haven't made an extra batch today, but I figure by the time we have completed the other bits and pieces, this will be ready to go in the pan. So, how many of you make fritters at home? Is it something that's a family favourite? This is a great way to pack some greens in. Okay, we are just going to cover that quickly. I've got my... We'll just put a bit of... Wrap over that, and that can just be popped in the fridge. That'll allow those chia seeds to swell bind everything together so let's pop that away and get on 
with the rest of the stuff. So when that comes out, we're going to cook it. I've got a cast iron pan. If you can, cook in cast iron, the Teflon. Mm, I like it. I like good stainless steel pans or Teflon pans by choice. Um, none of the coatings come off and they always produce a really nice golden brown whether you're doing steak or whatever. So we're going to start now. I'm just going to turn on this light because I do feel we're a bit dark. Let's turn some lights on see what happens. So the next thing we're going to do is we are um, just checking our recipe here. I better make sure I put everything in that lemon fritter recipe. So our four cups of grated zucchini, it was basically four zucchinis, four just average size zucchinis and just pack it into a cup. You want, you'll get four cups easily, I think, out of that. Um, and now we're going to move on to our... I'm going to show you a couple of things while we're waiting for our fritter mix. I've got some bits and pieces here. Those are going to be needed for flipping. I just wanted to show you quickly because I do a couple of, I always have a couple of pickles in the fridge that I can just easily put into salads or something like that. So I just wanted to show you quickly how I make them and I've got some here which were that's just beetroot this is so easy and it's just such a great addition to your salads and things and you've already got them on hand in the fridge so we I've just got a red onion I don't eat onion but Simon does so we better I mean it's Valentine's Day do I want a meeting onion on Valentine's Day? Hmm. We'll see. Okay. So all I do with this, oops, let's put that there. I really thinly slice these onion, onions till they're super fine. If I'm doing the beetroot, I just do a really thin julienne, which I will show you in a moment. So, and what I love about the red onion, a little bit a little bit fiery let me just pop that into a receptacle for later so very thin juliennes of onion you can even go finer than that if you want but what I love about the red onion is it goes this awesome sort of magenta color so all I do it's as simple as this guys pop in the oh gosh Simon O'Reilly is watching he knows what we're doing <laughs> okay apple cider vinegar a good one with the mother and some salt just a little and some freshly ground black pepper and I'll grab a lid to go on there and it is as simple as that how cool is that just something that you can easily have on hand pop it in the fridge if you want to make it ahead of time for this dish, it only needs about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Give it a good shake up. And we'll just rest that there. Let me show you the beetroot. Oh, I love beetroot. Just to give you an idea. So can you see that is just thin juliennes. They've still got a bit of crunch to them. Still crunchy, so it's not cooked or anything. Just sitting in that vinegar. And it'll last in there for a week or so easily. The vinegar's like, you've got the vinegar and salt in there, so it's going to stop any bacteria growth. 
and we're going to use those in a few minutes in our fritters. So now we're going to start on this cool hemp cream cheese that I came across. The recipe for what? We've got our Thermomix ready. We'll grab these ingredients. Simple ingredients. Only a few of them. I need my zester. And here we go. So I've got here a cup and a half cup and a half, let me just check that recipe, yep, a cup and a half of our hemp seeds, seed of the month, I'm loving it, and then we're going to, have a little board there, I'm going to use the, thought that had little growths on it, it was just little hemp seeds, <laughs> I've got two limes here, we're going to use the zest, of the limes and the great thing I think I showed you the microplanes the microplane um, in the last video but the great thing about using these for zesting is it just takes off the actual rind you're not getting any of that white pith that if you get that into dishes that's when you can have it can be quite bitter so let's get that in we're using the juice of two limes as well as the juice of a lemon. So how simple is this? And it'll last in the fridge for about a week. Okay, lime number one. And you can actually freeze it as well. You'll notice in the recipe, I have, I have said we're just going to add that water slowly. And that depends. I can't really give you a measurement. You're just going to have to judge that yourself when you start mixing. Um, because, you know, I can't say, I don't want it to be too runny. We want it to be that... Uh, smooth and sort of thick consistency. We don't want it to be drippy, <laughs> if that's the right word. So let's just cut these ready to go in. I was excited to find this recipe because I'm, um, you know, when you're not having dairy and it's just another way of adding a different creamy dimension to a dish. So we've got the juice of a lemon. Oh, squirted myself then. Let's get that in there. So yeah, the quantity of the water of this was quite a big lemon, so that can alter the other liquids that you're putting in. That's our lemon. These lemons were from Sam at the market so they're beautiful organic spray free lemons he has 280 fresh veg and we visit him a lot at the farmers markets for his beautiful produce that he grows i hope that yesterday you know all these farmers they would have been affected by the storm i'm sure so even more reason this weekend, if you can, to go out and just support your local farmer's market. Okay, juice of two limes, juice of one lemon, done. So the great thing about this cream cheese, or this hemp cream cheese, there's no other fats, there's no other oils, it's really just these few ingredients. Let me just wipe up my mess. Okay, a bit of salt and pepper. I'm just going to put the dill through at the end. I'm just going to fold that through. And I'm going to start by just mixing this <clears throat> about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. We can adjust that as we go because we need to taste that and just see what it's like. Our lid goes on. 
I'm just going to mute my microphone for a moment so that you don't hear this noise, but I'm going to put the Thermomix on. We're going to start at 20 seconds all the way around to speed eight and we'll just start creating that pace. So let me mute you and I'll be back in 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, let's have a look and see what this is like. You'll see what I mean by not wanting to add that liquid too soon because you can see just with the hemp seeds and the lemon juice, it's already forming that sort of pasty consistency. So we just want that to be a bit smoother and slightly, let me show you. Okay, can you see that? So you can see we haven't got much in there at all, but it's already formed this lumpy, porridgey type. Whoops, slopped it everywhere. My bench is clean too, guys, just let me say. All right, so you can see already that consistency. It's not going to require much water. We don't want it to go too far. So this is where we add little bit of water in there and honestly I'm, I'm actually going to measure this because <clears throat> I'm going to put it use one of my shot glasses and that's probably about a 60 ml glass I don't even think I want that much so I'm going to start with half <clears throat> let's Put this on and I'm going to mute you again for 10 seconds. Okay, let's have a look, see what we've got. Oh, that's a lot nicer. <clears throat> if you've got a Vitamix, you might even get this a wee bit smoother, but can you see that consistency now? It's creamy, it smells great. Um, have a look at this. I'm just going to do it one more round. I'm quite happy with the water I think that we've added although I might just put a squidge more and then I'm going to get a spoon and just test, taste test as we always do for the mm, for the seasoning that's pretty good can taste that lime through there which is delicious a little bit more salt a little bit more pepper. Ten more seconds on there and we are good to go. Let me mute. Okay, I think that will do us. So this you can put on all sorts of, just imagine what you can use this on. Your sandwiches, your tacos. <clears throat> I would even put it on the base of a pizza, I think. Just use it as a dip even. And put different flavorings in. So here we go. Here is our hemp cream cheese. And 
that is ready for using on our fritters that's what I'm using ours for today but it would just be a great spread that you could use on all sorts of dishes in the kitchen to replace your sour cream or your cream cheese so there we go we'll pop that aside there and let us have a look at our fritter mix so I'm cooking this today as I said in my cast iron pan it all should have thickened let me just move some of this stuff away oh we can add the rest of our dill so let's firstly pop that in you can simply stir that through with a teaspoon easy peasy oh, I love the smell of fresh dill that's going to pair beautifully with that trout so there you go there's our cream cheese mix pop down dill there I'm using that as a decoration let's get rid of our dishes and have a look at our fritter mix see how we're going okay let me see Now this mix, guys, it makes big fritters, okay? You're going to get about eight fritters out of this. And you can see that it has thickened up a bit. You can still see a little bit of the egg. We just want to stir that in, make sure we've combined it. Did I? You've got the cheese in there that's going to give a bit of saltiness to it too. I'm just going to preheat my pan over a medium to low heat. We don't want them to catch. And today I'm just going to use some extra virgin olive oil spray because I, I don't want too much oil in the pan. I'm going to add a little bit more salt to those and here we go the other thing about using too much salt with zucchini is i find it draws the moisture out of the zucchini as well now i'm going to get our spray ready i've got some things together to top our fritters with when we finish so i will grab that to show you with our lovely trout whoops um, there's our trout there I've got some lovely rocket and some avocado so we are going to add that to it in a second our mixture I'm going to use a cup measure and I got a cup measure how strange a kitchen with no cup measure let me just grab one because I used it before Gosh, I'm noisy today, guys. Sorry about that. Banging and crashing everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to use a cup measure just as a guide. I'm probably not going to fill it up. You'll see how big these fritters become. And I'm just cooking a couple at this stage to give you an idea. So our cup measure... I'm going to spray our pan lightly. Be careful if you spray any aerosol over gas. We don't want to burn anything. And all I'm going to do, drop this fritter into the pan. And I'm going to spread it all the way out. So it's going to almost be like the size of an omelet. I'll bring it over in a sec and show you. I need to get another let's have a wee look make sure it's nice and even so you get that even cook i just use my spatula or my scraper around around the edge just to even it out and let me show you what i've done with that 
I've just spread it out so you can see how big it is and we're going to top that. So that's just going to cook for a few moments. We've got our onions sitting there. We're going to top it with our fritters with some smoked trout. I've got some rocket, that lovely cream cheese, and we can pop a bit of avocado on it. So I'm just going to cut that into easily into little slices in the shell. Easy to do with a butter knife. You're not going to have that knife cut through. I think we only need one. And you can change these flavors around. Like we could have, if I was going to have tomato or some sort of tomato sauce on the fritters, you could use fresh basil or something like that in your as your herb instead of the dill. It's lovely with mint. Um, just play around with the certain flavors and see how you go. So you just want to go around checking that our beautiful fritter isn't cooking too quickly. It's going a nice golden brown. I use two of these slices to flip. You can buy them at kitchen shops, you can buy them at Bunnings, they're like a paint scraper, but I find them a really useful tool in the kitchen and I always have a few of them lying up in my kitchen utensils drawer. Okay, this is turning a lovely golden brown. See how clever I am today at flipping. I'm going to flip that towards me. Ooh, good flip. These sort of remind me too of a Japanese pancake sort of scenario. That's just going to cook a few minutes on that side. And it's just, look at this. It's awesome. Beautiful colours. All that green comes through. And that's why I like refreshing you know, when I'm, as I said before, the warrigal greens and things, because it just keeps that vibrancy and that colour. I'm going to get a plate ready for our, what are we going to put that on today? A nice white plate, I think. will look fantastic. And we're going to move this over to the side. And we are cooking. So I'm going to show you. I tried, I slipped some of the hemp cream cheese into the freezer earlier just to check how it froze. So I'm going to pull that out and just have a wee look. Because if you make a quantity of this, if you can have it on hand frozen, even better. So it's frozen pretty well. I'm going to leave that aside. Let's see. How it, if it defrosts and how it goes. Our fritter is, I can see it rising a little bit. Check the bottom. All you're really cooking is making sure that that egg is cooked through. But you could make these even thinner and you could roll them up filled with salad. You can have them as a base of a fritter like I'm going to do tonight or today. You, they'd be a great addition just in smaller portions, smaller fritters in a lunchbox, nut free, easy to chuck in a lunchbox and send to school. Just going to flip that again and double check it. All looks pretty good to me. And we're going to just bring it over and pop it on our plate. Here we go. Look at that. It's cool, huh? Turn off my stove. So we've got our lovely hemp cream cheese, which has got the flavors of lemon, the lime, the dill. I am going to just pop that on. Smear it around doesn't have to go out to the edges, it's just to get, we are going to pop some rocket on. 
Oh, you know what we need is a wedge of lemon. I wonder if I've got any of Sam's lovely lemons left. Our avocado. Avocados are beautiful at the moment. They're super cheap and they're not really affected too much by pesticides. So now you can just pop this around in a lovely little pattern. Make it extra pretty since it's Valentine's Day today. And happy Valentine's Day to you too, Mr. O'Reilly. I saw you online there. We've got this lovely smoked trout that we can pop on the top. Beautifully placed. You know, for me, you eat with your eyes first, so I like everything looking really nice on the plate. Let me wash my hands. How good does that look? And we can finish that off with some of our lovely onions. Or we can even top off with the beetroot if you wanted. Just be aware if you are using beetroot on it that uh, juice could bleed a little. So I would wipe it off with some paper towels. And I'm not going to add my onion today, but I just wanted to show you that way of doing the pickled onion. And here we have this gorgeous dish. What do you think? Here we go. Can you see that? Absolutely delicious, super quick to make, and I hope you'll try it and let me know what you think. Um, you can have different toppings on it. Simon has it sometimes in his lunchbox and I just cook a few bits of bacon or something to go with it, and it's just a really nutritious, delicious meal. Great protein with the hemp. You've got the protein of the eggs and gluten free. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe today. I will check what that frozen hemp cream cheese turns out like and I will let you know in the post below. So thanks for joining me in this cook and I'll see you next time. I'm racing because I've got, we're starting our Kijon course today. So you've still got an hour if you want to join in with us, send me a text and you could sign up and join in for my four-week course. But I'll see you next Wednesday. I think we need to start thinking probably Easter's not very far away once Valentine's Day is over. So if you've got any lovely things that you make for Easter, perhaps share them with me and we could cook something that you have that's traditional for you. Okay, guys, see you next Wednesday. Ciao for now. Have a great day. Happy Valentine's Day. Go and spread some love with all your family members and enjoy your day. Cheers. Bye.